Palpatine, in many respects, was born to be a Dark Lord of the Sith. Even from a very young age, the boy desired power above all else. Power, even just for the sake of power. Despite coming from a noble home on the planet of Naboo, Palpatine pushed his father to do more for the political state of their home world. Palpatine's father, though, frequently told his son that he held a sufficient amount of power and that he would be able to go to the grave happy with his accomplishments. However, when Palpatine and his family visited Naboo, he witnessed his father become extremely jealous of those more wealthy and accomplished than himself. Because of this, Palpatine grew to hate his father as he saw him as weak and useless, being the exact opposite of what Palpatine desired for himself. Palpatine not only desired political power over his home world, but power over the entire galaxy. Within himself, Palpatine even knew that he would never be satisfied. Because the young Palpatine was not currently surrounded by those that shared his own goals, he looked elsewhere. This is when the young boy discovered the Sith Empire and their sole goal of attaining power over oneself and others, as they believed it was their right to do so. They believed it was the right of the strong to rule and govern over the weak. Palpatine came across one piece of ancient Sith text that began his long and prosperous journey down the darkest of paths. Do you feel it? Do you feel the power of the dark side? The only real power? The only thing worth living for. After reading this, Palpatine was completely fascinated with the ways of the dark side of the Force, and even discovered that he had inadvertently tapped into it unknowingly several times during his youth. Following this, the ways of the Sith Order completely dominated the young Palpatine's life, as every waking moment was dedicated to attaining this power so glorious only the strongest could ever hope to control and wield it. Equality is a lie. A myth to appease the masses. Simply look around and you will see that lie for what it is. There are those with power, those with the strength and will to lead, and there are those meant to follow, those incapable of anything but servitude and a meager, worthless existence. Upon delving more into the history and philosophy of the Sith, Palpatine began secretly tapping into his family's riches and spending huge amounts of credits on the black market to attain as many Sith texts as possible, as more than anything, Palpatine wanted to learn of this dark side of the Force. More than anything, Palpatine desired power just like the Sith. Through his studies, Palpatine developed an entire library dedicated only to the Sith and their rule, as he already believed himself above all his peers and even his very family. Palpatine already at a very young age thought himself as superior to everybody and only believed he lacked the last piece of the puzzle, a Sith master, to truly allow him to become a dark lord. His family, however, disregarded his studies as they believed the Sith long extinct and nothing to worry about, purely a strange fascination of a very strange boy. Despite hearing of the extinction of the Sith Order though, Palpatine thought them too powerful to have truly been defeated by those as weak as the Jedi and continued his studies. Palpatine also disregarded all the claims that the Sith were evil beings as he believed otherwise. Evil is a word used by the ignorant and the weak. The dark side is about survival. It's about unleashing your inner power. It glorifies the strength of the individual. Eventually, the exploits and ambition of Palpatine granted him his dark wish to attain a Sith Master, when the Sith Lord Darth Plagueis found his way to Naboo and requested the services of Palpatine. Plagueis was immediately impressed by Palpatine's affinity with the Force, despite at this point only being self-taught. After becoming Plagueis' Sith Apprentice, his master continued to teach Palpatine the ways of the dark side of the Force, and revealed that his theories of the Sith's survival were correct but that they had been reduced in numbers to only ever have two Sith Lords at a single time. This was one of many lessons bestowed onto Palpatine. You must begin by gaining power over yourself, then another, then a group, an order, a world, a species, a group of species, finally, the galaxy itself. After his apprenticeship, it would be Palpatine that finally took the galaxy for the Sith once again, after centuries of laying dormant and evolving. It was Palpatine that nearly destroyed the Jedi and took the galaxy and all of its inhabitants under his dark control. So what are your thoughts on the first time Palpatine learned of the Sith and his thoughts towards them, as the dark side of the Force almost called to him to join their ranks and finally seize the galaxy for the Sith? once more. Personally, I have always loved the fact that Palpatine was basically born to be a Dark Lord of the Sith and already shared many of their viewpoints before even meeting Darth Plagueis. For this reason, Palpatine is one of my favorite Sith Lords in all of Star Wars history, not to mention most definitely one of the most dangerous and most powerful.
Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed and want to help the channel out, be sure to hit the like button. If you would like to see more Star Wars explanation videos and stay up to date with all the Star Wars news from The Last Jedi to Star Wars Rebels, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to turn on notifications to see everything as soon as it comes out and to make sure that you become a living holocron today. If you would like to get in direct contact with me, follow me on Twitter where we discuss all things Star Wars and debate with one another on the various topics concerning the universe. If you have any video ideas you want to see explored, leave them in the comments below the video with hashtag suggestion at the end of your comment so I can find it better. If you do end up leaving a suggestion, I really appreciate it and hope that one day make a full video dedicated to your question or suggested topic. Thanks again just for simply watching the video and your continued support on this Star Wars journey. May the Force be with you and have a great day.